Abby. You've always been more than Derek's little sister or sister-in-law to me. You've always been the one I called first with good or bad news. You've been the one I've celebrated with and cried with. Since we are so close, it was only natural that I would always be on the lookout for the perfect guy for you. When I heard you were going to Mexico with a group of my friends from high school, I knew exactly who you should meet, Adam. I called up an old friend and we both agreed that you two would be perfect for each other. And look where we are today. Adam, now that you're officially part of the family, I thought I would give you a few words of advice. One thing you need to remember is how much the elders love their mama. Oh sure, Mike's pretty cool too. But as long as you keep Mama Barb happy, they'll be smooth sailing from here on out. Abby, today I have to officially start sharing you with someone else. And this is pretty hard for me, but you only live 50 yards away, so it won't be that bad. But I couldn't think of anyone more perfect to now include on our wine nights, movie nights, and that sort of gossip than Adam. With all joking aside, Adam, thank you so much for now being her person. I couldn't think of anyone more loving, caring, hardworking, and dedicated for her to be with than you. Adam is actually full of surprises and full of wows. Um, like when we first met, uh, it was when the Jasper School met Pipestone. And I was at Hill and I was thinking, all right, I gotta set my dominance. One of these kids is gonna be mine. Very first kid that hops off the bus, yours truly, with an oversized backpack, square glasses, and a fresh bowl cut. John, over here at the end, got married in Mexico, like everybody knows, and that's where they met. And again, Adam, we're like, Adam, go talk to her. No, nah, no, nah, she don't want to. Sure enough, he goes and talks to her, and it's, wow, he's talking to her. And then it's, wow, I think he actually got her phone number. And then he called me one time and he goes, yeah, we're dating. And then today, Look at this, wow. My name is Mike Elvers, and I'm the lucky one that God picked to be Abby's dad. And when I say lucky, I really do mean lucky. If you know her two brothers, we were so lucky to have a little girl. And I don't think it's any secret that she's been, you know, I, she's had me wrapped around her little finger since the day she was born. But Abby, you'll always be my little girl. And as your dad, I've always wondered, who will you choose to marry? And so I've often heard that girls tend to marry someone that reminds them of their dad. Thank God that didn't happen, right? <laughs> but seriously, uh, you have no idea how happy I am that you found the man of your dreams. Now, family and friends, I am pleased to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Adam and Abby Haug. Adam, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> I've been Abby's best friend for the last 20 years. Um, I could go on and on about stories from when we were little to high school to college, but um, there are really a couple key moments that in our life that I really want to talk about. As I said, Abby and I go way back, and it really all started when we were little kids attending the same church in Laverne and going to all the same events and classes at church. And as I started to write my speech for today, um, it was the same time that we sent uh, my little daughter to Bible school to church in Sioux Falls. And I was talking to my mom after and I said, Evelyn just loved it. She was playing with all of her little friends. It was so cute. And my mom said, Jessica, you do know that is exactly how you and Abby got so close. You both attended this positive and encouraging place together and you were able to find your faith together. 
and that really struck me and put our friendship into perspective to how we got to where we are today. And I just pray that one day my daughter will find a best friend just like you. Um, now I want to jump to the other crucial moment in our life, and that's the day that Abby called me and told me she met a boy in Mexico. Um, now at first I was like, okay, do tell more, and sh then she said, no, he's actually from Pipestone. So you can imagine my reaction to that. Um, so I asked his name, who he was, and she said, Adam Haug, and I'm like, hmm, I don't know who he is. And Abby said, yeah, he's our age. And he went to SDSU the same time that we did, but we just never ran into each other. And by this time, I was like, okay, are you making this guy up? Because we knew a lot of people from Pipestone and he just didn't sound familiar. But I was all ears to hear about this new man in my best friend's life. And as I got to know Adam more and the person that Abby became with Adam, I just knew that he was the one for her. I've known Abby almost her whole life, and I can say with full confidence that I've never seen her more happy. Adam, thank you for choosing to love my best friend unconditionally for the rest of your life. I'm so excited to see where this journey will take the two of you. I love you both so much. <laughs>